experience with ill-prepared friends have led me to only bring those who are competent and uh, have actually gone camping or kayaking before. So Logan, I trusted. We've gone camping before. I asked him to go on a kayaking trip with me. He said, yeah, I'm down. I have a kayak. And this is the kayak that he brought with him. And I assumed he knew what he was doing. He's been out on the water before. Yeah. He's camped out on put, this uh, island, yeah, I think, exactly. before. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> I did have to laugh for a second as he's loading nice. it, um, but I figured he knew what he was doing. So we got on the road, got to the lake, unloading the kayaks, we get down to the water and we launch, and it didn't take long to figure out that this kayak was not going to handle the entire trip out to the islands. Okay, good. See this watermark on Logan's canoe? <laughs> yeah. This part of the, or sorry, kayak was underwater. Yeah. Healthy boy. And when we decided to do this trip, I assumed he had the little yellow kayak, which was a little bigger than this one, but he doesn't. He's got the big easy. The big easy. Let's try it. <laughs> well, we just left shore, when you can tell. And uh, take a look at my kayak here. The load on my kayak came from his kayak. Yeah, the load on this one is a long man. <laughs> Turn around there, Logan. Show them the back end of your kayak. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically on a paddle board. <laughs> and I have all of the gear except his tent. This area of Missouri is very sparsely populated, which is really nice. You won't, most likely you will see no one else on the lake, at least this part of the lake. Uh, we continued <laughs> paddling. We had to make a few stops because Logan's kayak just took on so much water. It was crazy. There was a drainage hole in the back of his kayak that actually lost the plug, so we stuffed a plastic bag down in there, but Logan didn't really help. Saturated. Logan was saturated from the waist down for the entire paddle to the island um, where we were able to dry out. <laughs> the big easy. So after several stops, we finally made it to this nice gravel bar where I like to camp. There's not necessarily a tent pad. You kind of have to just make one and clear out a lot of brush, driftwood, but it's a great spot. Um, this part, like I said, the most you'll ever see is one or two fishermen fishing boats out here. Very secluded area. It's beautiful because this northern end of the lake is actually a wildlife preserve uh, surrounding the island. So all the shore area is just untouched. There are no homes, no roads, uh, and lots, lots of wildlife. We saw a few deer in the morning, a lot of different bird species. Um, you also will occasionally have a military helicopter flyover, but it really is a nice, peaceful, secluded spot. I brought a light panel, camping. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> what my goal is, is to make quality content. So for instance, I brought my LED light out in my kayak, which you'll see the behind the scenes stuff. 
but I really wanted to make quality videos and quality content that looks really good. And it's not just the story, you know, shot with a GoPro or a phone. I really wanted to film it well and, and, and bring to life the actual events that are going on, all the bad things, all the good things. So right now we're making a fire, about to eat. This is awesome. Anyway, hope you enjoy this episode. Fall and winter, to me, are the perfect times to camp anywhere, but specifically the Midwest because there are a lot of uh, there's tarantulas, there's scorpions, there's a lot of poisonous snakes as well as poisonous spiders in this region. Uh, and if you go in the fall and winter, you just avoid them. And you also avoid people. And I, I just think it's the perfect time to camp. So we uh, had a beautiful evening out here, made a fire, cooked our food. Logan had to dry out a lot of his gear, including his tent. Uh, had some whiskey, you know, to warm up but it's just a beautiful region in the fall and the winter. Summertime, even springtime, the, the bugs start to come out. The, the um, underbrush grows up even on these islands. It can be grown over with thistles, etc. And that's why I really do prefer fall and winter. It's just a lot, a lot, it's just a better experience in my opinion. Logan finally dried out, although I don't know if his tent fully dried since it was cold and it was wet. We had a great evening, just hung out, told stories, told camping stories from the past, of which there are several on my channel. Feel free to go back and watch them. Also, all of the gear that I use on my adventures is listed below, and it helps my channel out if you do use them, so thank you. It was just a beautiful, beautiful trip, beautiful weekend trip. And if you're ever in the region, Truman Lake, Lake of the Ozarks, Mark Twain National Forest is a fantastic location for you.
Get back to the boat ramp. <laughs> and this time Logan didn't have to stop, thankfully. But here's here was the issue. Show you guys. Oh frick. Why did I do that? This is the thing. Oh nice. There's no cap on that thing. 